in Excel 2003 and earlier versions, if you want to count things based on criteria, you can use count if. In Excel 2007 and later versions, there's also a new function called count ifs. And with this, you can do some things a little more easily. So if we wanted to count items that have quantity that's between 5 and 10, in the old version we had to combine two different count ifs to get our answer. With count ifs, we create one formula and we can put different sets of ranges and criteria, and we can have up to 127 of those combinations. So we get quite a bit of flexibility. In this case, we've got count ifs, where we're looking at this range of cells and saying, I want quantities that are greater than or equal to the number in E4, and they also have to be less than or equal to the number that's in G4. So we've combined the two criteria, and when we press enter, we get six as a result. We can add more criteria as well, and in this case, we could look for items where there's a pen in the order. So I've added another set of criteria. So the third set is looking at range A2 to A10 and finding items where there's a pen. And when we press enter, there are only two now where the quantity is between 5 and 10 and the item sold was a pen. You can also use wildcards. And in this formula, instead of just typing pen, we typed pen with an asterisk so that we get anything that starts with P-E-N. So now there are four because we're getting pen and pencil items where the quantity is between five and ten.